said that the weather was unpredictable in the park. It definitely is. Now it's sleeting. <laughs> it's not even really that cold. <laughs> People are out here <laughs> sleeting on them. They're like, jump in the truck quick. <laughs> sleeting sideways. Here's where the snowshoe rabbits hide also. You can see them. Let me pull up just a little bit here. Right here. Kind of see them hide pretty good. Hide from the wolves and the foxes. They, uh, they're in the middle of turning to part, they're part brown and part white right now. There's another rabbit hide. <laughs> they're sitting like really, really still with their ears back so nobody can see them. No, she rabbit. Okay. I'm asleep trying to get a really good picture of a bunny. <laughs> Snowshoe rabbit. He's hiding really good back there. He's like, leave me alone. <laughs> Man, <laughs> sleeping hard. <laughs> he ran away. <laughs> Look at this stuff, it's like cotton balls. It kind of hurts. <laughs> What's some strange weather we're having today? Denali makes its own weather. Terry the ptarmigan. <laughs> I've seen a lot of those today. He's a skinny old boy. <laughs> He's got a big old neck. <laughs> It'll be about ptarmigan today. Yeah, maybe we can yeah, teach There's people. two males here that are showing off for a female. No, those are two females showing off to a male. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. They are two females. Because <laughs> he's being greedy. <laughs> he took that guy's female that, from back there. Took that other one's mate. <laughs> They're cute. They're eating some kind of bugs out of the worms or bugs or something. Kind of build up for those little eggs. <laughs> Showing off. Yeah, the male doesn't have to show off nothing, does he? <laughs> yeah. I don't think they're really eating anything. I think they are just showing off. They're like kind of picking at stuff. But I don't not know. Really. It looks like they're picking at something. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what that is. It's like rain. Yeah, it looks like a sheet of rain coming down, just going something. across. It's weird. It's kind of See if we can. You can see these moose. They're uh, all these people stop and they're just. You can stop, Dan, please. It's making it bounce really bad. These moose are out there and they're trying to get away from all these people that are stopped looking at them. And there they go. See ya. Yeah, they're running off into the woods. They're gonna go make baby mooses. Uh, not that time of the year yet. Pretty big. I like the white feet. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're gone. <coughs> yeah, they're no, they're caribou. They just don't have any horns. I think it's just like a bunch of females. This is the Savage River inside Denali Park where some photographers flew like 4,000 miles to film some wolves taking down a full-grown moose. 
house a couple of years ago. And then they had the story in National Geographic. And this is where that happened. driving out of the park right now going back to the campground I'm at the campground now I'm going to watch Dan's fantastic abilities to back a, a 31 foot RV <laughs> I'm not doing too bad so far good job oh he, he always does this not perfect enough, so I'm going to try again. Some <laughs> big old pile of snow at the end. Tell him to stop me. <laughs> she looks so tired. Just hanging out, cooking dinner. RV life, so wonderful. 